Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? What's up? Welcome to another week here at Financial Hub. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, as usual, we'll do the normal analysis. Uh, we didn't do yesterday. That's what we're doing today. We never do on Tuesday. We mainly have Monday, Wednesday, and, and, and Friday. But tomorrow as well, we might be a bit busy uh, with the... Uh, with our podcast episode so we might also not do it so that's why we are, we've pushed them to today so we'll have one today then the next one we'll have maybe on friday but yeah so today we'll do same analysis this is the same one that i'll upload on youtube so for the people watching this on youtube this is this week's analysis last week we didn't do any because we also had some hiccups here and there but anyway welcome to today's analysis this week this week what do we have um the first half of the year starting quite well i'm seeing a lot of dollar weakness along the way uh my few pairs are moving on quite well dow jones we've seen it pumping to the upside aussie dollar sort of starting to pump the uh, usd card i'll do the analysis down for you then you'll get to see and understand uh how i'm approaching the market apart from that everything else is fine fundamentally ken will tell you more about that i'm not really paid I looked at them much this week but i'm sure there are quite some fundamental news which of course is a risk in the market that will come out this week so with that said, if I can share my chart so that you can see what I'm looking at. My usual pairs, I'll start with dollar index. What I'm saying, seeing some dollar weakness coming along the way. Um, dollar index. So this is quite a simple analysis, nothing complicated. If we look at the daily chart, okay. I'm looking at sort of some long-term shorts coming, okay, with respect to this triangle. Uh, so I see Augustine asking for GBP USD. No prob. I think Ken will do that for you. He analyzes that pair. So this is USD card. I mean, this is Aussie dollar. So long term trend. Remember, that's the first thing I'm normally looking for. The direction of the trend. Clearly, you can see this is lower lows, lower highs. Apart from this level, which market did not form a new lower low. With respect to that, market instead has created sort of a symmetric triangle. Basically, a sideways movement that has been happening for the past few days, okay? We've come and bounced off this trend line. You can see this sort of first touch, a second touch, and a third touch over there, which can uh, cut a, uh, push this market to move further down, okay? So remember one thing I'm always saying. When we're approaching a trend line, when we're approaching a support level, a resistance level, the main thing you should ask yourself is how are we approaching that level? Looking at this one, if I go down to the 4-hour chart, you can clearly see we approached it after breaking this resistance here. Market came in the form of an ending diagonal or an ending wedge, uh, depending on how you call it. And you can see we had a beautiful first touch, second touch, third touch. If you got a shot up here, this was a good trade, okay? So break yesterday we saw some retest over here market was pulling further up with a bit of momentum i remember looking at it but we got rejected there so you have to pay attention to that as well market started dropping market again we've seen today morning sort of pushing a bit higher normally you can see another second retouch of this trend line okay at just a second touch of this broken trend line and then market moves further down so with that said first target i'm looking at this one is this immediate support uh, if I go back to the daily chart, what you're looking at exactly is this res support here. So this is my first target, okay? So you can see this was a resistance, we broke it, acted as support, came, broke it to the downside, acted as resistance, we've broken it yet again, and now it's acting as support. That's, so that's my first target, and if we're able to break that, then we can uh, expect market to come to this trend line yet again for the third time, which I'll be targeting, and if we drop and break it, then this market will be continuing in the direction of the trend to move further down. If not, and if my analysis is wrong, I'll be waiting to see if the trend line will be broken. You can see uh, I have sort of invalidation level up here, just above the trend line, just above the previous high. If, we ab <coughs> if we're able to break that and market moves higher, then I'll be watching to see if this previous resistance, okay? This previous resistance here will be broken, which will basically be breaking the formation of the lower lows and lower highs uh, formation to the downside. So with that said, now with respect to that, I come and take my trades on Aussie dollar. So if I'm looking for dollar weakness, it means I'm looking for bullish trades on uh, Aussie dollar. So we have a beautiful flag here, which I have a trade running. Okay. So first of all, you have to pay attention to this impulse. Okay. So market move to the upside of beautiful impulse and we've sort of had this abc correction so you can see this abc i'll show you much better on the four hour so 
previously i was actually waiting for this market to come lower to come and touch this level the 61.8 which is in line with this previous support i mean resistance now acting as support so this resistance is where i was waiting for market to reach there's still a lot of room for market to reach there but what normally happens as i keep saying I don't trade what I want, I trade what the market shows me. So what happened last week on Friday, as market was moving down the better half of last week, on Friday we had this strong bullish close. I'll show you better on the 4-hour chart. But on Friday we had this strong bullish close, which indicated market might be rejecting not to reach this perfect uh, support level. Remember market is not always perfect, so we can have market bouncing off here, which is still in line with this uh, flag formation you're seeing. You can see. This is a parallel line down here, parallel line to the up, uh, upper trend line. You can see that touch over there, okay? So what happened? We got that rejection. So yesterday, I got a long position with respect to that candlestick closure, which engulfed the previous week, the previous Thursday, and we're looking for this market to move further higher. If you look at the four-hour chart, if I zoom it out for you to see it properly, so what I'm paying attention to, okay? So you can see this ABC correction I'm looking at. So you can see this A, okay, in line with this market hasn't perfectly come to touch. The SIP level hasn't touched that level perfectly, okay. So there's still room. There's still room for that to happen. But at the same time, I'm also looking at the patterns that's forming here. So we sort of had this ending flag. If, uh, if I remove this, if you look at this quite clearly, you can see we had this sort of ending flag formation, which is normally a good signal to start taking some long positions so you can see that towards the end of this uh, uh trend to the downside we sort of had this side uh, sort of formation so i got my entry yesterday after this rejection over here you can see i got this bullish run so that's what i have running um this is a very very long term trade looking for about 400 pips on this one so long term i'll be trading i think that can last about a month or so but it depends if this market continues falling further down i just have less than one percent risk on this trade so it's not a bad uh risk reward at the same time okay so risk reward of about one looking for about five uh to six percent return on that one okay so that's what i'm watching on aussie dollar so i have a long position on that as i've said i'll be looking to see how it goes if market can drop further down no prop i can get some stop loss being stopped out but i can always get another entry because i'll only be down about one percent Looking at another trade, USD card one day. So remember USD card, I've been saying I have two analogies on this one. So I have two trend lines, okay? So if you look at this trend line that I've drawn, okay? This more or less a channel to the downside. So I have that channel with respect to the lower side being bounced off one, two, three times drew a parallel line with this one so if you take this line it's very much in parallel with this one so you can see that the same just took it to the upside you can see also this upside is being respected you can see these touches over here multiple touches and over here market yet again has come and touched and if you go to the forward chart it's come in the formation of sort of an ending uh, flag as well so you can see this sort of ending flag so this was a good short position a good short trade to have but as well remember i have two analogies on this one if you take this as a wedge, this can also act as a wedge. Instead of parallel lines, you can take this as a wedge. If you take this, okay, so you can see this was also a valid, valid trend line, which market was respecting earlier on in the year, okay. So if you sort of take this pattern, quite clean, quite precise. <clears throat> so you can see these multiple rejections up here. You can see this second touch over here. You can see it's <clears throat> this third touch. And market started dropping we came got a breakout a clean retest okay so breakout of a trend line and a retest of it which might continue to the upset but remember i always say this i cannot change my uh, uh hypothesis that the market is in a bullish trend until the formation of lower lows lower highs is broken in this case it's not yet broken this lower high over here lower low lower high hasn't been broken and therefore that means this trend line we have here can also be a valid one okay with respect to the formation of lower lows and lower highs we might still continue to the downside and after having that strong bearish close on friday 
this bearish close over here on Friday after having that shooting star the previous day that shooting star candlestick this can be a very very good short position also this previous the candlestick for yesterday such a candlestick like this market sort of moving up and having that strong rejection coming back down this can also make it fall further down okay so um usd card i'm quite bearish on this one long term until that trend changes and until then is when i'll change my hypothesis on that one so that's what i have on that um dow jones quite bullish patterns have been forming on this one long term okay so just to show you my perspective remember higher highs higher lows so this is the pattern i've been watching market has been forming higher highs and higher lows ever since we had a crash last year market came sort of formed a flag up here okay so you can see this abc correction retesting the previous high okay so this is sort of the same thing i'm telling you i'm looking for on oc dollar that breakout to the upside coming back to reject this previous resistance okay now acting as support you can see this one has continued to the upside quite clean we had a breakout over here a breakout a retest yet again and market has continued moving up this week so also this one long term i still expect it to continue going higher unless market drops and we get a touch of this trend line okay you see this trend line maybe now we have this uh, sort of first touch over here second touch and maybe an, another third touch over here before we go higher but with the formation of the flag that one has already completed that in the way i trade them for me that one has already completed so we'll see how market fares from here but i think this can be also if market gets to drop this can be a very beautiful buy for market to continue further up so i won't waste much time that's it from me uh Quite a clean analysis, good analysis. As I said, I only have one trade running this week down on Aussie dollar longs. That's what I'll be watching. And if I get other trades, of course, I'll let you know. But that's it from me. Uh, I'll leave the floor to Ken and have a wonderful week, guys. So, peace. So, morning traders. Hope you're having a wonderful time. So, today's on Tuesday. We never got to do the analysis yesterday like Caleb said we had some technical hitches so most setups actually I think have worked out the ones that I was watching I think on Friday the last time we did the zoom session I talked about a couple of long positions GBP JPY Euro yen and I think some of those positions played out pretty pretty well Euro USD I think GBP USD also coming in line coming in handy very very well now this week on the fundamental space, first of all, I think the key data that you're watching is today at 3.30. So today at 3.30, inflation rate US, if you've been tracking the markets, if you understand how markets work, especially from the fundamental space, then you'll understand that the current economic environment, we're really, really keen on the inflation numbers because that will tell us whether the Feds will taper early or they'll keep on letting the interest rates remain as low as they are. And once they start interfering with interest rates, it's very, very hard for them not, not, to, not to interfere with markets because ultimately interest rates determine the yield in currencies. And once you start discounting earnings in most of these companies, then it means some of these valuations may have to correct and come back down to where the current cash flows will be. But anyway, that's today at 3.30, so watch that number. I think currently what's happening in London, if I was to track what's currently happening in the market, I think what markets are telling me is the inflation number won't be a very, very good one. It will be a high number, and if that's the case, you can see gold coming back to 18, 10, 0.2% up. You can see oil up a half of a percent, trading as high as 74.58, and you can see the dollar trading lower. So i look at some of the setups i'm watching i think on the dow there's a beautiful long setup on oil there's a beautiful long setup and on gold there's a beautiful long setup currently i'm holding a short setup on gbp aud but most of these setups i think i'll have to wait for 330 for confirmation but current price action is already leading me to the direction i was expecting some of these markets to play out so let me start sharing my screen and i think i'll start off with gold So this is gold let me just go to the weekly chart i think there's something interesting here and i was actually talking to caleb about 
how trading in the long term also is quite quite beneficial anyway looking at gold from a long term perspective last year in august i think we started this long down downward move this year when the second quarter started we started this correction and then towards the third quarter we had this steep sell off back to retest the trend line last week but one we had a beautiful hammer close last week was followed by some bullish momentum and this week if the inflation number comes out as i expect i think we could see some momentum coming back to gold and the market's really moving higher up to the upside so I, i'm still very very bullish on gold i expect this market to trade as high as 2200 2300 i think this is the asset that's quite undervalued depending on the current market conditions and the investment climate right now low interest rates coupled with a lot of liquidity in the markets means high gold prices a weaker dollar will also translate to high gold prices which you can see gold has been doing nothing for the last i think one year or something We've just been trading between 18 1700 1900 ultimately i think there's a good opportunity here to make some money from and i'm very very keen to trade this market in the direction of the trend in the daily chart when this downward move was coming i expected a bounce off this line but clearly now this is the technicality in it you can see on the weekly we got a good bounce but on the daily we never got a good bounce i was looking for this entry i never got it and then you can see the move back to this level we are currently trading at 1810 there's a high chance i think if the inflation number comes out as i expect or as markets are expecting then you could see this markets move higher back to 1850 1870 ultimately even 1900 the four hour setup i think is where we have a solid solid setup so we had a first bounce second bounce and then it came into this sort of a consolidation and started trending again and then i've been sitting here for some time so i'm waiting for a clean break of this and i move back to 1850 as my first target so about 400 pips from where we're currently trading but i'm waiting for 330 before executing that position to the upside that's my idea at least for now but i'm waiting for that number if that number comes out in a different manner then you could see gold even move lower ultimately to 17 something or something of the sort that number has a lot to do with what will happen on gold prices according to how i view markets next i look at oil i think oil is also affected by inflation a lot it's one of the commodities i think commodities are heavily inflected by inflation if i just look at it from a weekly perspective a beautiful pattern i think once we were trading here i talked about a probable move to 75 dollars a barrel If you took that trade you've made over 1000 points you're out of the market now and you're waiting for some other setups to shape up ultimately i think we could get to 80 dollars a barrel 78 79 80 a barrel before the next correction i think there's a high chance once you get to 80 dollars a barrel you'll get a slight technical correction back at least to 65 67.5 just following what's happening on this pattern once we bounce off here we could get another correction to touch this line on the downside so on the four hour chart i had this first trend line so first bounce second bounce third bounce we then got a break and a move down so i created this new one and now what i'm watching is whether we'll get momentum to sustain us above the central pivot level and above the 73.20 level as long as we're trading above that level i think there's a high chance this market could ultimately get to 78 dollars a barrel that's a conservative target but $80 a barrel is also quite quite good as a target because ultimately think oil will will follow the psychological levels and if the psychological levels for me in this case after 75 happens to be $80 a barrel so I think there's a high chance that will be the top once you get to that level I'll watch how markets react there probably you'll get a correction a steep one from that level depending on even what OPEC plus will do the last meetings they had they failed to agree and i think now due to the prices they could easily come to an agreement because some of these things are actually gamed they kind of don't want to agree for the prices to keep on rallying then once prices get to a certain level they can come to an agreement and prices correct to a certain level which they think is a good one it doesn't happen as easily as i said but technically if you study how markets work you'll understand some of these things next i look at gbp usd for the one who is requesting for gbp usd i think you should pay attention here now <clears throat> on the daily chart I was talking about a move above 3.750 to 1.4 I still haven't changed my idea I still think that's the setup that's the trade you should be looking for 
will ultimately get to 1.3957 and if we get to that level there's a high chance we'll get to 1.4 before anything else so currently i'm still very very long on gbp usd now the technicality comes in getting an entry because this market has already moved higher and for you now to find an entry which has a good risk reward ratio you need to be pretty pretty smart around how you execute your position but you can see clearly we had this first rejection a second rejection and then market started moving now to 1.39 a correction and now probably we'll start seeing markets move back to 1.4 which is the next ultimate target on the hourly chart there is nothing for me at least for now i have the the setup i have the level that i'm looking for but i don't have a clean setup at least for now which i think i can execute in this market so for now i'm out of it but i'm looking for 1.4 as the next target if we got a good correction somehow i could but for now no setup at least for me on my end if you're not already long on it gbp aud i have a short setup on this one i took this one on monday and markets opened which was yesterday so immediately markets came back below I think there is a high chance markets will come back to touch this level 1.8450 and this trade if i'm right on it it could be could end before the end of the day today but as long as we're just trading within this i'll keep on holding my position i'm not really interested in predicting what will happen in the markets at least on a quote to quote basis what i'm interested in is the big picture perspective of where markets are moving from the levels i should be watching and the levels i should be keen on when i'm trading the markets so clearly now i'm looking for 1.8450 we've broken past 1.85 which was a technical level so as long as you're above 1.85 again you need to be cautious but i think there's a high chance this setup will play out in the daily chart it looks like a correction back to this level you can see clearly had this move higher and it's normal for markets to correct back to some of these levels before the continuation to the upside i think that that's a pattern that i've, I've observed over the years and i think you can make some money trading off that pattern gbp gpy <clears throat> some of these markets i think are quite quite similar so unlike gbp usd now which was talking of a move back to fair value on gbp jpy we're almost done we've gotten as close to 1.153.58 is possible but we've now started moving lower and i think Today during the New York session we'll try and time and see how these markets will be trading. Last week but one I talked about this collapse to the downside. I think I talked about a probable risk reward of about 1 is to 5, 1 is to 6. Had a beautiful collapse back down to touch this level. We have started to move higher. I think this could be now the end of this sort of a flag formation. Once we start trading above this line I think it's time to pivot to strong bullish positions until we see new highs in the market. But for now, again, no clear setup for you to execute. If you never took this trade down here, I think on Friday when I was looking at markets, I was talking of a probable long position on Monday. I never expected this comeback to take place on Friday. But on Friday when I checked the charts in the evening, I realized that this move was over. So the setup that I was looking for had already played out because I was not really actively watching markets on Friday last week. Euro yen the same as GBP, JPY. So some of these markets i don't really have to repeat them the difference is the levels 130 that one is 150s but the patterns are quite quite similar so what you need to watch out for is correlation <coughs> risks don't execute some of these setups together because you'll have just one trade and you may assume you have different setups but you just have one setup so i think i'll stop there there isn't any other trade that i'm watching keenly at least for now the dow caleb covered the dow I will stop there. If there is any question, I'll try and answer. If there is no question, I think I'll stop there and I'll see you some other time. So someone wished me happy birthday. Thank you a lot. And we'll see you some other time. So I don't think there's anything else we can say, at least for now, other than wait for what we're working on on our end and then we'll release them to you. So we'll see you on the next episode on Friday. Peace.